Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Mendaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve Windows update issues you're not up to date but no updates available in Windows so this issue can occur due to various reasons and one common cause is a temporary glitch in Windows update that prevents it from recognizing the latest installed updates and corrupted update components or cache files. And without further ado, and let's go ahead. So the first solutions we will do is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooters. So all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and then here at search for apps and then you need to type the troubleshoot settings and then click open. So here are troubleshoots and then you need to select other troubleshooters and then click. And again here at other troubleshooters and then you need to select Windows Update. And on right side then you can see here this run button and then click. And wait to complete the detecting problems, initializing and diagnostic process. And troubleshooting has completed. So this is the complete app scanning. So the problem spawn, we have the Windows update issues and one detected. If the problem is fixed, then you need to click yes. But if not, then click no. And also you can view this detailed information about this issue. So once you're done here at Windows update troubleshooters and we need to close. And the other solutions that we're going to do is to restart the Windows update services. So all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu and then here at search for apps and then you need to type this uh, services and then click open. And once you open up this uh, services and services local and on right side and then we need to find and locate this windows update. So scroll down and then select this windows update and then right click. And then you need to check if it's already running the service and then click restart. But if the service is not running, then go ahead, double click and open properties. So this services is already running and then we need to click this restart and wait to complete the restart process. And after that, so same here, then we need to double click. And then at general properties, startup type, then you need to select automatic click apply and then a click OK. All right. In the other a keyword that we need to modify is the background intelligent transfer service. So we need to scroll up and then we need to find this background intelligent transfer service. So same procedure you need to select and then right click and then check if this service is already running or not. Then we need to open the properties. So since the service is, is not running and then we need to double click at here at general properties and then startup type then you need to select automatic and then at service status then you need to click start and wait to complete the start process and then click apply and then click OK. Alright and the other keyword is to find and locate this cryptographic as service. So same procedure, select and then right click and then check if the service is running or not. So since the service is already running and then click restart and wait to complete the restart process. And after that, so we need to double click again. At here at general properties, startup type, select automatic and then click apply and then click OK. And the last keyword that we need to modify is the Windows Installer. So we need to scroll down again and then find this Windows Installer. So select and then right click. And then you need to double click because the service is not running. So we need to double click. And here at General Properties, a Startup Type, select Automatic. And here at Service Status, then you need to click this Start and wait to complete the start process. And after that, click apply and then click OK. All right. So after here at services and the other solutions that we're going to do is to reset the Windows update components. So all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu and then here at search for apps. And then you need to type a CMD 
or uh, this is the command prompt and then you need to right click and select run as administrator if you receive your circle control and then click yes and once you open up this administrator command prompt and then next step then we need to enter and type this command keyword n-a-t-s-h space when suck space reset so just type this command keyword n-a-t-s-h space when suck space reset and then press enter and successfully reset the WinSock catalog, then we need to restart the computer in order to complete. Then we need to close the CMD, and then here at the Start menu, and then we need to restart, all right? So that's it, guys, on how to fix you are not up to date, but no updates available in Windows. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you, guys, and see you in my next tutorial.